Hello everyone, today I'm here to discuss the NCRT solution of question number one from exercise 1.3. So why are we discussing this? Because these questions are important from examination point of view. Well, the question is prove that root five is an irrational number. So this is an important type. So basically when we come across such questions, we know that root five is irrational, but we need to prove it. And we prove it using the contradiction method. That means first of all, we are going to assume that root five is a rational number. So if this is a rational number, that means root five is actually going to be equals to A by B, right? That's how we represent rational numbers. Where B should not be equal to zero, denominator cannot be zero, right? Otherwise it's going to be not defined. And A and B over here are integers and they are co-prime. Co-prime means they have nothing common between them. Their common factor could be one only. So what I'll do is here I'm going to cross multiply them. So this becomes B root 5 equals to A. Now the next step is going to be we will take squaring both sides. Once we do squaring both sides we get 5B square equals to A square and let's mark this as equation number one. Now according to the fundamental theorem of arithmetic this says that if A square is divisible by 5, this implies that A will also be divisible by 5, right? That means, let's suppose here A, A square is 25, so 25 is divisible by 5. So 25 is nothing but that's 5 square, so that 5 is also divisible by 5. So this is applicable according to the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Now let's suppose here that this A over here is equals to 5C. So we assume these numbers in such a way depending on what is given in the question. So let A be 5C. Now what we will do is we will substitute this value over here in first equation. So what do we get here? We have 5B square equals to 5C square. So that's going to be 5B square equal to 5C whole square. That's going to be 5B square equal to 25C square. So this 5 and 25 will cancel out. We have B square equal to 5C square. So from here also, According to the th fundamental theorem of arithmetic, I can say here that this b square is divisible by 5 because you can see that this is 5 times c square. I mean, that means I can say that since b square is divisible by 5, that means b is also divisible by 5. So what we could see here is that initially we assume that a and b are co-prime. They have nothing common between them. They have no common factor except 1. But here we can see that they both have 5 as their common factor. Since they both are divisible by 5, that means our assumption was wrong that A and B are co-prime over here. So this contradicts that our assumption is wrong. This contradicts the fact that root 5 is rational. Hence, we would say that root 5 over here is irrational. Alright, so leave a comment for me in the comment section how you like this video.